Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. It's your boy Phil. So today, we are going to eat at Amazing Grace Restaurant in Queens, New York. And we are going to eat some Filipino merienda or translated as afternoon snacks. So, what are we waiting for? Let's start the video. Hope you're having a great day everyone. So today, I'm in Queens, New York and we are going to sample some Filipino food in Amazing Grace restaurant. Woodside is regarded as Little Manila because of the high concentration of Filipinos living there, working, and of course, bringing our cuisine. Merienda loosely translates to afternoon snacks and it can be anything. It could be an appetizer, an entree, or something sweet. And enough of that, let's start to eat. The first snack that I ordered is grilled pork ears. Pork ears that are cleaned, boiled, and or marinated and grilled to perfection. Their recipe is 60% savory and 40% sweet. The textures are very interesting. Crispy from the cartilage and soft and fatty from the ear collagen. And there are also small strips of meat in the ear. Recommended dipping sauce is vinegar, but you can also have soy sauce. Tokwat baboy translated as tofu and pork, fried tofu cubes mixed with cubes of fried and sometimes grilled pork. Scallions and onions are garnished on top and it has a sweet and savory soy sauce base. This can be a common snack in the afternoon or sometimes the partner to your beer. Pancit lomi where thick egg noodles are boiled in thick, starchy, and savory broth. Usually topped with slices of spring onions, egg, some crushed chicharron bits, and it also includes some chicken and fried pork. This meal or snack is usually served in the cold afternoons and is a perfect complement to cold or rainy weather because it is a challenge to finish it while it's still hot. The soup is very thick, starchy, and savory. The noodles, very thick and chewy. Similar to ramen noodles but with less chewiness. The recipe varies from province to province in the Philippines and it can usually include differences in the vegetables or the meat that is placed but the thick noodles and the savory thick starchy broth remains the same. The slices of boiled egg and the pieces of crispy pork belly are a treat. I didn't expect the servings to be this big. That's why it's truly a challenge to finish this long meat. And in this case, this would really fill up and warm up your stomach. Lumpiang gulay or lumpiang sariwa means fresh vegetable spring roll. With sweet garlic brown sauce with crushed peanuts topped with fresh garlic. The vegetables inside can include carrots, lettuce, cabbage, boiled string beans, wrapped in a very soft egg spring roll wrapper. Also topped with fresh garlic. Sometimes, young palm hearts are also part of the vegetable combo that has a very soft consistency. The sauce is sweet, garlicky, and with crushed peanuts. And this is the soft egg crepe wrapper or a soft vegetable spring roll wrapper. And if you want to go vegan, this is a very healthy snack full of vegetables with a side of sweet savory sauce. And from my experience, 
Uh, this fresh vegetable spring roll can range in size from a small Vietnamese spring roll to a big burrito. Pinapaitan or beef innards soup. This soup consists of beef innards and includes several internal organs which can include ox tripe, some liver, some spleen, kidneys, lungs, and the like. And it also includes some pieces of meat, fat, cartilage, tendon, and some beef intestine. Beef intestines has just the right amount of chewiness, has that concentrated beef flavor and fat. Liver, spleen, lungs has practically the same taste. Liver has more of a grainy texture when it breaks into particles as you chew, while the spleen and lungs are softer. And of course, steamed white rice is the best complement for this soup. Bile is usually added as the traditional way of cooking this soup to give it that slightly bitter taste. But here, with their recipe, uh, I think they did not add that much bile so the soup is more savory. And that is just the right ratio of rice and the organ meats. My next snack is isao baboy. Isao means intestines, baboy means pork. And this is grilled pork intestines. Pork intestines are cleaned very well, salted, grilled to perfection, and basted with some sweet or savory sauce. Recommended dipping sauce is usually vinegar because this is more of a street food than an entree. The fatty layers of intestines are very soft and very fatty and carries that pork flavor. And those fatty inner layers carry that fatty pork flavor. And more of that pinapaitan. And for the grilled pork intestines, you can also make them an entree by pairing them with rice. And let's not forget dessert, buku pandan or young coconut mixed with soft pandan jelly and creamy milky syrup. A sweet treat for a snack or dessert. Thank you for watching this video and I really do hope that you enjoy it and thank you for your continued support and as always, like, comment, and subscribe. See you later in the next video guys. Take care!